Hey guys, welcome back to another FSD V12 video. Today we'll be doing another drive um, on the V12.3.6 version. So I updated my camera mount a little bit. I used a different camera. It has this weird kind of like gimbal-like behavior. So please bear with me, but let me know if you like this new uh, type of format. Now the first intersection where I get to, there, there are cars coming from both sides and I need to turn left here. It waits, it peaks and it goes ahead with that. So no problem there at all. It turns a little bit into the lane on the right, but um, nicely goes into the left turn lane immediately. And um, there's some pretty interesting things that end up happening in this video uh, on this drive. Uh, we go both ways of this drive, so you'll be able to see it on both directions. But um, there's even a part in the video where I would even say FSD is more safe than a regular human driver or a bus driver in this case. Um, so we're gonna quickly go up to the roundabout here. There is a car if you saw on the on the right, it's a white car, but it's in it's on the lane on the left. It's not in my lane, so I don't technically need a yield. It does so safely, um, unnecessarily so, but um, it's it's all right in my opinion. So now we're coming up to a left turn here. Uh, it is a green light, so no need to deal with a flashing yellow or anything. It's a pretty normal left turn, but um, it turns into a pretty narrow-ish road that has a lot of lines going on, um, but does perfectly and stays on the left lane like it should, unlike the red car in front of us. And the road gets pretty curvy uh, in front, but handles that with no issues at all. Now, right here is a pretty cool interaction. You can see on the ground, there are white dotted lines that the car is actually driving over. Um, it's respecting the yellow dotted lines on the left side, as well as the other cars on the other side. But I've actually driven this road with autopilot before, and it actually respected the white line. So it was driving into the opposite lane. So really great to see that it's not doing that, especially since their car is over there. Um, and kind of picking what was best for that situation. Now here we're um, coming up to a flashing yellow. There are a lot of cars coming through here. So there isn't really opportunity to left turn yet until this car and it quickly accelerates and does this left turn beautifully. It basically picks when I would have turned left myself. So. No problem there at all. Now this next interaction is pretty funny. You can see this white van is kind of slow. So what FSD decides to do is it decides to change lanes to go faster, um, even though it's not the left lane. And it tries to get around it, I think, but it doesn't because our lane actually starts to slow down. And the van actually <laughs> ends up going faster than us. So uh, FSD got kind of mad um, and I and ends up actually changing lanes to the left again in an attempt to go faster, I think. But um, we're turning right, so there's no... Like, we're turning right soon, so I don't know why it changed lanes to the left. Now, something interesting of this road, about this road, is that the HOV lane is on the right side. The carpool lane is on the right side. And so that's, that's going to be more relevant later in the video. But as you can see right here, it's like, oh crap, I should just be in the middle lane. And it changes back to the middle lane. And actually it changes right when I say like, yeah, that was a fail, like lane change. We should just go back. And it decides to go back. So um, kind of same page, maybe like a step behind what I was thinking, but same page. Now coming up here is a right turn. And something interesting is like, it's the HOV lane on the right. So you're not technically supposed to be there. So right here, I'm like pretty concerned that it's not going to change lanes because it's trying to respect the HOV lane and I haven't turned on like the HOV navigation. So uh, I'm a little worried with the solid white line and the HOV lane that it's not going to turn right properly here. But I sort of let it run this course and we still have definitely some leeway here. And as I let it go and look at that, it 
decides to go to the right lane to ready up the right turn. So it does that perfectly. Actually, you see the dotted lines over there. I think that's when you're supposed to technically be switching to the right lane. I don't know. I'm no, I'm no expert of the law, but um, I think that was completely fine. So upcoming here, we have another roundabout. This roundabout has actually been a struggle for me as a human driver. It's a very tight turn. And you can see by the camera just <laughs> not being able to t handle that turn. But um, FSD does totally fine there and makes the turn uh, perfectly. Now here is the left turn lane. Um, we actually are entering the parking lot right after this left turn. So ideally we turn into the right turn lane. And as the light turns green, you can see that FSD takes this opportunity to indeed get on the right lane um, and following the guy in front of us. Uh, I think they're also going to uh, the parking lot. So go ahead and turn right into this parking lot. Now, this right turn was way too big. It, it, swung, it swung really far. Like I'm, I'm, I'm basically 80% into the opposite lane, which is not what you want to see. It's, it's not great. Um, perhaps it's an overcompensation for all the, uh, the problems that FSC had before, where it was getting the, the turns were too tight. But that turn was way too wide, and I was all the way to the other lane. And that was that's not the first time I've seen it like turn too wide, but that one was very wide. Thankfully, there weren't any cars across. And you can see here that the car stops. It stops for these pedestrians. That pedestrian actually waved at me saying thank you. And <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, don't thank me. I'm not driving. Um, and it's at this point I realize that the car is not going to move anymore. Uh, it just stopped there. So I drove to a close by parking spot and went ahead and started auto park. And with auto park engaged, obviously I couldn't do the slanted parking spots. Those aren't supported yet. So I had to drive all the way here for a, a one of the straight ones. And it what goes ahead and auto parks. Auto park again, a little slow, maybe like 70% of normal human. But you can see right here that it actually stops to go forward and turn left. And I found that kind of interesting because it's like, you could have just kept going, no problem. But I think I, I watched the AI one of AI driver's videos and I think it's like restricted to like the rectangular box that it set for itself. So like that, that, those were one of the times where it's like, as a human, you know, there are no cars around me, but it sort of has to follow that rule for safety. So it, it was kind of an abrupt, Stop. Anyways, we're back now with cake on the right side. Don't get distracted by that. But um, we're coming out of the parking lot. So there's actually a car on the left side here that was poking forward, but FSD kind of went ahead. And also here didn't let the guy turn left. It kind of looked like it was going to a little bit, but it decided not to. So a little bit aggressive in the parking lot, but not what I wouldn't have done. Uh, those are actually things I would have done, but probably I don't think you're supposed to do. And right here, it, it takes that right and aggressively gets to the left lane right away. Uh, I've missed this left lane turn many times, but it does a great job there. Waiting for two cars to go through and then getting to that lane right away. Now we're hit with another flashing yellow and you're going to see a lot of cars coming up. So there, it, there isn't really an opportunity here. Um, and you see the car kind of pushing forward a little bit, try to get, get in there. So when the last car kind of comes through, you see technically it could have gone through there. Uh, would have been a, would have been nice, but the next opportunity, which is right there, immediately takes off, which I think is completely fine. Um, I would have probably taken the previous one, but I think 60, 70% of drivers would have just taken the one that it did. Now, something interesting that uh, about the HOV, which I mentioned earlier, was that I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring it to the HOV lane uh, because the HOV lane is on the right side. We are a carpool, so we we are allowed to be on this lane. So I go ahead and have it change this lane on the right. 
uh, the upcoming navigation is a right turn. So there shouldn't be a reason for it to change to the left lane. And you can see right there that it changes back by itself. I, I, I turned on the turn signal to go right. It was like, nah, dude, like, what am I doing here? And then like seconds later, decide to uh, go back to the middle lane. So that, that was a pretty interesting interaction. Uh, I hope in the future it can automatically support HOV depending on the uh, interior cabin. Oh, now right here is the clickbait of the video, but not really clickbait. You can see on the bus on the right, the light is about to turn red. It turns yellow right here. And then the car stops, which is awesome. I didn't think it, it would stop. And the bus just goes, definitely goes to the red, red light. Like it was red before it even crossed the crosswalk. And you can see me clapping. Cause I'm just like, I can't believe FSD stopped for that. Like I, I didn't think it would make it. I was even more surprised that that bus just went through with that. Um, so yeah, like AI one humans zero. I don't know. Like that does not, I would be safe. I, I would feel safer in the FSD car than that bus right there. That, that was kind of dangerous. All right. So right here, it changes to the right lane. You can see a car poking out. I, I freaked out a little bit, but the car was fine. It slowed down just a little bit and then sped back up. Interesting thing. It's on the HOV lane right now. Uh, probably for the right turn later, like right here, but it shouldn't have been in the HOV lane that whole time if it was just me in the car. I don't think it was that smart to know that there are two people in the car. All right, so in this intersection, wait for that first car to go through and then we go through. Again, probably a beat slower than I would have done myself, but completely acceptable. You see that truck on the right side poking out. There's a lot of things going on on this trip. And that, that guy right there coming out with the scooter, the car slows down a little bit, but doesn't go to a complete stop at all. It just slows down a little bit. I freaked out, the car freaked out. And then a second later it goes, oh, okay. He's just turning into the sidewalk and then goes back to normal. Completely fine. Would have exact been exactly what I would have done. So uh, really great job there uh, handling the weird truck coming, like the truck sticking out and the human sticking out. Um, and up coming right here, you see there's some cones on the right side. There's a road closure. You see me hovering over the, the wheel. Uh, I didn't actually think there was enough space here to squeeze both the other side and our side, but apparently there was. The lane, the lane lines weren't super clear, so I was I freaked out a little bit, but the car handled it beautifully, so not a problem at all. Did I mention no interventions yet? This whole drive, there and back, this whole drive added together is around 50 minutes. Let's just call it an hour. No interventions yet. All right. So it gets to the right lane here. Uh, I've had it gone go to the wrong lane before, but here it chose the right lane. Last time it chose the wrong lane, it just changed to the right lane in the last minute, which was completely fine as well. Uh, I've done, I mess up that lane every time. Every time I get to that road, I go, wait, am I in the right lane to Eliza? Like every time. So the car picked it the right, the right lane this time, which is awesome. Now you're gonna see here, I have an upcoming roundabout. I need to go all the way to the left, which means I should be in the left lane, which the car picks correctly. Uh, previously, it had chosen the incorrect lane before, like the right lane, um, I think once. But then the other like three or four times I've taken this roundabout, it's picked the correct lane. Um, so, gets to the left lane. There are a lot of cars in this roundabout, but you're gonna notice that there aren't any cars that have to yield for, so, just goes ahead, which, yes, do that, please. And then doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get rattled by anything and just keeps going on this roundabout. No problem at all. So yeah, the most of the end of this video is just gonna be straight line, right turn, right turn. And boom, we're here. And then let's go ahead and start the auto park. Now we're gonna start auto parking this spot. And I'm still a little bit not super confident in auto park. And you can see the visualization actually doesn't go all the way. So I, I close it. I thought it'd be like the full screen. You can see right here, I'm turning into there. There's a van behind me. If you see on the video, it's like poking into our parking spot. And actually candidly, this, this it's backing. It's not slowing down when it's backing. And as a human being, I would have slowed down a little bit 
as I'm backing into this truck that is van that is sticking out to my parking spot. So I actually pressed the brake there because I don't feel super confident in the auto park, but I, I'm pretty sure it would have done just fine. I just got a little nervous, but, but yeah, that was our drive, 50 minutes, no interventions other than the auto park in the end, which I think would have been okay still, but, and a lot of very interesting interactions, especially safety wise. I think the car did a great job safety wise today. And uh, I would even say today was safer than humans, I would say, public transit maybe, I don't know. All right, let me know if you like this style video. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of stuff, what kind of videos you want to watch. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.